Hey right, guys, it's just a little tutorial on uh, these beam tech lights everybody's been putting in the can ams here. Uh, I've seen a few things. People say they still let a little bit of moisture into the housing. So to try to avoid that, I have taken apart the light itself. I'm going to be filling in the hole in the back with some more silicone. They put a little dab in there just not enough so if you can get a little more around and to go up inside the light reseal that back up and then uh, when you put this piece back on that locks it on to the light housing put a little bead of silicone around the light and the base so that when you're done you have a nice little bead of silicone affixing that to the housing. And then when you install them, you can put a bead of silicone around there before you lock them into the housing on the machine. That should get rid of most of the per like air room for air because letting water into the back there It'll go right through and into the back of the light. So, hopefully that helps a few people out. Uh, that's for the low beam and for the high beam. I've already got the high beams done. So you can see the little bead of silicone that I got running around the back of those. Same thing goes, so it's just a little Allen key. To take the light out of the housing here and then it is a little Phillips to come out of this hole here to take that piece off it just slides right up off that o-ring so hopefully that helps a few of you guys out yeah and uh, these are the high beams. Those are the low beams. I had the low beams done first. That was my, my fault there.